complete end-to-end -end digital thread. So platform health monitoring, intelligent logistics, again, improves efficiency. We're deploying machine learning to, to, to run after action reviews so that we can link failures to root cause through unsupervised learning. And coupling with natural language processing, AI can provide an opportunity to crunch down operator query times and maximise operational efficiency in the maintenance sphere. And if you widen the aperture slightly further and you think about training, as was mentioned in the introduction, achieving and maintaining competence is costly. So we can apply machine learning algorithms to not just selection, but also through supervised learning to identify where a student might need some support and, and so that we can plan our training interventions. And indeed, in mission planning, analysis and execution, this is a vast opportunity for AI application. And indeed, we envisage an AI cockpit. We have a virtual assistant that is making cognitive workload management decisions. We've got natural language processing, which means interaction with the virtual assistant is intuitive, it's rapid. It uses control cues from natural voice, but also using sentiment analysis with things like eye tracking and physiological monitoring. It can classify pilot state, pilot stress level, so it can adjust the degree of machine processing versus human processing at any one time, a key part of that human machine teaming um, regime that was talked about in the intros. So AI will help, help us transform right the way across the life cycle. If we think about the wider battle space, we've got a really diverse landscape, as we've all alluded to, of digital cyber enabled connected assets in which every domain from space to underwater across cyber and information is a potential frontier of conflict. And novel effects such as swarms, hypersonic systems, complex directed energy systems and countermeasures proliferate. With multi-domain operations, agile C2 and cognitive networks of sensors, this is going to be the norm. This will only be feasible if we can underpin it with AI. Neural networks and heuristics will be absolutely critical to enable cooperative mission management in that sort of swarming environment and the unmanned man teaming scenarios. 